Welcome to this documentary by Jace, dedicated to spray nozzles, essential components in many industrial fields. We'll talk about what they are and how they work. Nozzles, also known as spray nozzles, are devices designed to convert a fluid under pressure into a jet of varying shape and size. This spraying phase is crucial in many industrial processes, from agricultural to chemical industry, food processing to industrial painting. Historically, nozzles date back to ancient times, used for irrigation or decorative fountains. The Industrial Revolution revealed their potential in utilizing steam power and optimizing combustion processes. During the 1800s, steam boiler innovations led to specialized novels improving thermal efficiency. In the 1900s, use of nozzles spread widely through agriculture, fire suppression, and industrial cooling. Today, there is ongoing research to improve nozzle performance through innovative materials, CFD simulation software, and advanced manufacturing like metal 3D printing. Nozzle function is based on pressure variation and internal geometry. Pressure variation. The fluid enters the nozzle under pressure and exits with controlled velocity and direction. Internal geometry. Turbulence chambers, orifices, helical veins, etc. influence jet breakup, creating various spray patterns. Wide fan, full cone, hollow cone, coarse droplets, or fine mist. The nozzle's principle relies on accelerating fluid through a precisely sized orifice. This equation shows that the flow rate depends proportionally on the area of the orifice and the square root of the pressure, where Q equals the flow rate, which can be measured in liters per minute, CD equals the discharge coefficient, or the efficiency, A equals the orifice area, delta P equals the pressure difference, in versus out, and rho equals the fluid density. For the same orifice diameter and nozzle type, Increasing the pressure results in higher velocity and often finer atomization. Nozzles differ mainly according to the shape of the jet and the spray mechanism. Let's look at some types. Flat fan nozzles have a blade or a fan-shaped spray and are used in cleaning and spray painting. Full cone nozzles, a solid cone spray they're used in cooling, dust suppression, and irrigation. Hollow cone nozzles have a ring-shaped spray. They're used in humidification and precise circular coverage. Fog nozzles produce a fine mist spray and are used in evaporative cooling and indoor disinfection. Air atomizing nozzles use compressed air or ultrafine mist. They're used in precision coating and high-end painting. The choice of materials for nozzle construction is essential to ensure chemical, mechanical, or thermal resistance depending on application. Metals, brass, stainless steel, abrasion or corrosion resistant alloys. Plastics, polypropylene, PVC, PTFE are generally cost-effective and chemical-resistant. Ceramics used in abrasive settings where longevity is essential. Nozzles can be used in numerous industries, including agriculture for irrigation and pesticide spraying, chemical industries for reagent spraying, temperature and humidity control, or dust suppression. In the food industry, for flavoring sprays, surface temperatures, washing and sanitation, industrial painting, even application of paints or coatings, air or gas treatment in cooling towers or scrubbers, industrial cleaning, where high pressure jets remove residues on surfaces or mechanical components. 
In addition to the main formula for calculating flow rate, studies on nozzle atomization include Reynolds number, or RE, indicates the flow regime, laminar or turbulent. Weber number, or WE, measures inertial versus surface tension forces critical for droplet formation. Souter mean diameter, or SMD, indicates average droplet size based on energy, density, and viscosity. Nozzles are key in controlling direction, shape, and fineness of fluid jets, directly affecting process efficiency. Understanding nozzle theory and selecting the right type based on material, pressure, and spray shape is crucial in modern industry. If you found this video helpful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We recommend you visit our website, jacecompany.com, to learn about our upcoming projects.